Saint Jean Jugon, a beacon of compassion and faith. In the turbulent era of the French Revolution, when religious congregations faced severe suppression, a beacon of hope and compassion emerged in northern France. Saint Jean Jugon, born during this time of upheaval, would later be celebrated for her unwavering dedication to the elderly poor, earning high praise in the French Academy for her community's compassionate care. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Jean's early life was marked by hardship. At just three and a half years old, she lost her father, a fisherman, to the sea. Her widowed mother struggled to raise eight children alone, with four tragically passing away at a young age. Despite these challenges, Jean's spirit of service began to shine early. At the age of 15 or 16, she became a kitchen maid for a family that not only cared for its own, but also extended their kindness to the poor and elderly nearby. This experience planted the seeds of her lifelong mission. Ten years later, Jean took on the role of a nurse at the hospital in La Rosais. Her journey of faith and service deepened when she joined a third order group founded by St. John Oud. For six years she served as a devoted companion to a woman she met through this group. Together they prayed, visited the poor, and taught catechism to children. After her friend's passing, Jean continued this mission with two other women in St. Severin. In 1839, they welcomed their first permanent guest, marking the beginning of a remarkable journey. Jean, now known as Mary Marie of the Cross, founded the Little Sisters of the Poor. By the end of 1849, she had established six houses for the elderly, all staffed by members of her association. By 1853, the association had grown to 500 members and expanded as far as England. Despite facing opposition from Abbé Le Pelleur, who prevented her re-election as superior and later restricted her recognition as the founder, Jean's legacy endured. In 1890, the Holy See removed him from office, acknowledging her rightful place. By the time Pope Leo XIII approved the community's constitutions in 1879, the Little Sisters of the Poor had grown to 2,400 members. Jean passed away later that year on August 30th. Her cause was introduced in Rome in 1970, leading to her beatification in 1982 and canonization in 2009. Jean's life exemplifies the biblical call to serve and love others. As Proverbs 19.17 reminds us, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Similarly, Acts 20.35 echoes this sentiment, In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Jean Jugon's story is a testament to the power of faith, compassion, and selfless service. May her life inspire us to follow in her footsteps, serving those in need with love and humility. And may God bless us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.